Hey yo, this your boy Mind Control Gaming, and today we're gonna venture into some nostalgic gameplay. I grew up on Pokemon. I know a lot of people grew up on Pokemon, and I was able to create my gaming computer, well, a laptop for now, but I'm gonna get a desktop to be able to find an emulator so I can play Pokemon like I did back in the days. So this will be a series of me trying to uh, catch them all. Catch them all just like I did before. I think I was able to catch 149 Pokemon, but I was not able to find the very last one because back then there was no internet. And for the life of me, I could not figure out which Pokemon I had left. I had, didn't have captured. And of course, yeah, so I, I was end up, and I didn't see it either. So I don't know if it was on Pokemon Red, because I did Pokemon Blue back then. So I don't know if it was on Pokemon Red, and I just happened to have an oversight of which Pokemon I didn't catch. But now we have the internet. And of course, I did look on the internet and see the... Uh, community the Pokemon community which is huge and they have speed runs and all types of catch them in 24 hours of game time I'm not gonna do any of that I'm just gonna play it for the nostalgic nostalgic factor so if you're if you love the, the game Pokemon and you want to see the replays of Pokemon like you did back in the days then this would be the proper channel for you I'm not going to commentate over the game I'm gonna let the music play and I'm going to uh, just have a couple things to say when I hit some milestone or I see something that I miss but for the most part this would be a non-commentated walkthrough so please enjoy Pokemon Blue and of course this series is going to be us catching them all without glitches so I'm not going to do the rare candy glitch with uh, missing though. I'm not going to get Mew. I'm going to get 150 Pokemon. We are going to catch Mewtwo. Well, we're going to try to catch Mewtwo. So this should be a fun experience. I hope you all enjoy. Have a good day. And please like, comment, subscribe. Because it means a lot. And I want to build a community so we can get the things popping. So... Without further ado, we're going to play some Pokemon.
Now I'm not here to commentate, but this is definitely the first battle, and of course I had to pick Charizard. I meant Charmander, <laughs> what is it, Charizard? But I had to pick Charmander, because this was one of my favorite Pokemon, but this is so um, nostalgic, and I love, I love this game, and I loved it so much back then, so this is a great, fun experience, you know, mentally, you know, I'm having so much mental fun. It's not kind of crazy, but I'm having a lot of fun mentally. It's like a great warm feeling, even though I got my heat on, but I'm not talking about that either. Y'all just get to the video. Nah, I can't. Ooh. This man almost beat me for my first battle. That's crazy. I'm sorry, I said I wasn't gonna commentate, but I definitely had to say something about that. I ain't wanna be one of them guys to restart if I lose, <laughs> but man, I can't lose the first battle. as no damn Pokemon trainer. But Mind Control won, so we got Mind Control over Gary.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I might, I'm about to grind up Charmander for a few levels. And I'm not sure if any everyone wants to see the grinding aspect of Pokemon, but I will fast forward it from here and I will show, I think I'm gonna get them to like a level at least 12 before I um, fight our rival again. In the comment section, if you want to see the grind aspect of Pokemon and get the full nostalgic feeling, then let me know and I'll include the grind next time. But for now, because this uh, video is going to be to the first batch, I want to make it as short as possible. So I don't want to make it seem like just a drag. And the grind is usually something people don't want to see. They don't want to see the progress. But I'm sorry, I muted it before, but we have to do it. It is what it is. And we're back. So I was able to grind him up to level 12 and I forget <laughs> how long this junk take it takes a while grinding man as a kid I must have so much time on my hand because I used to love grind I'd be like oh I'm gonna get him to Charizard before I go to my first um my first badge get my first badge but nah we're not gonna do that because that's gonna take forever and then it's gonna be on two super easy mode so we're just gonna play it like we supposed to play it I don't know which Pokemon I'm going to let me go with this journey. I think I'm going to get me a Butterfree. This is something for Brock. And a couple of the monsters. I usually go for a Pikachu with the low um, catch rate. Not catch rate, but the like it shows up like it has a low, low rate of showing up. So maybe I get Pikachu. I don't know. Pidgey, the the um, evolution rate. I mean, evolution... Um, level is always freaking high so I don't know we'll see but um now we back to regular scheduled program level 12 I'm gonna uh, catch these Pokemon and we're gonna start the journey peace not really peace but yeah you know what I mean
Currently, I'm looking for Nenorino, but I seem to not get any luck, so I'm going to fast forward it until I find one, but yeah, and then we're going to get back to um, fighting the rival. Yeah, but I finally caught it and I'm scared to attack it because I don't want to freaking kill it. Thank God. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, that's good. Alright, now. Don't kill me. Okay, good. Oh, he got me. He killed me. Oh, no, he didn't. We, we cricked. Alright, let me see if I can get one more hit. Yeah, I can get one more hit. Then... I'm gonna throw this Pokemon. Ooh, two times. All right, finally, I'm able to catch it. All right, let's see if we can beat our rival first time go. Save this just in case um, I lose. Well, or anything happened, because you know, I don't want to have to waste another 20 minutes to get another uh, Nenoran. You know, right? Yeah, at this point, it don't matter. I might as well just finish this battle and see if I get some XP. What up, Gary? I don't have any badges because you don't have any badges, buddy. And I'm pretty sure your little weak Pokemon don't have no badges this early. But let's see. I think he had two Pokemon. Pokemon. And I don't think a Squirtle has um, Water Gun yet, so we should be good. Boy, that kind of suck. 
don't want to have to worry. Ah, see now I'm gonna be missing like crazy. All right, all I need is oh shit, the booger. Oh, you punk. Oh, this nah, this sucks. He gonna beat me blind. <laughs> all right, there we go. Let's get some let's get some points on the board real quick. Now what sucks sucky is the fact that this is going to linger when we fight freaking Squirtle. Nah. I think it's about done now, yeah. So accuracy is a little messed up. At least my my guy got some XP, right? All right, let's see. Level eight, so we sh we should be good with this. I think low key, I can probably heal up. Nah, we ain't gonna risk it. I'm pretty sure everybody used to do this. You know, put the weak monster in front and then heal the other monster. So yeah. Oh yeah, keep keep missing, buddy. I got two more hits and then he um he done for. Let's just hope he don't have no freaking water gun. I think he does have, have it. Bubbles. That's what it is. It's not water gun. Water gun is much later. Super effective, huh? I forgot that this old man teach you how to catch Pokemon. So <laughs> I might use this as my intro scene to show how to catch a Pokemon, but I forgot all about this. This old man teach you how to catch a Pokemon. And we don't you don't even get this in Pokemon below. Okay. Go off King. Alright, we run to our first Caterpie. And we are going to catch him if I don't kill him first. The ultimate goal is to, you know, get my Pokemon to like one. I probably charm in, uh, Charizard to level 100 and complete the Pokedex. That's my ultimate goal. 150 Pokemon. So we made the little catches like we do the big catches.
in this corner right here this is where I usually catch my Pikachu and I don't know if I want to catch it right now or should I just wait till later and just catch it I don't know we shall see it depends on how long it takes me to uh, encounter the Pikachu if it takes like more than 10 minutes 10 20 minutes then I'm just gonna skip it for now but yeah this is where you usually encounter the Pikachu it's a very 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 low um, spawn rate the spawn rate is crazy low but that's what this is what Pokemon is about it's a um, time killer and kill some time I can't tell you how many um, remote controls and back then we had radios radios and um, things we used to do dangerous you don't have to do this no more but oh there's a we know um but we used to do things like we used to go into um like get the, the uh, stereo radio and get the, like the D batteries and use a little more foil and kind of like um fuse it with the double a batteries so we can um send the juice to the to the game boy since we had no more double a batteries and that was something that <laughs> um i learned in school or i don't know who taught me i don't know if my older brother taught me or anything like that but yeah those were one of the um one of the tactics that we did we didn't have no more double a batteries and we rated everything because um mom we used to always ask what do you need so many double A batteries for? What do you need batteries for? And it's kind of like, at that point, then she's going to try to regulate my um, Pokemon and my game time. So I'd rather not tell her and just, you know, do that. Put batteries in the freezer and the little foil so I can get some more juice and things like that. You know, kid tactics, you know, trying to be a little scientist and whatever. But yeah, we're going to catch this Metapod and then we're going to um, level this up so we can get the Butterfree. But yeah, if I get anything wrong, if I call something the wrong name or anything like that, just give me a pass and put it in the comment section and say, and just laugh and stamp it. So let's just see how many mistakes I can make while playing this. What? You you hopped out. I'm going to let you do... Hold on. I don't know, because if I run into a Pikachu, I don't want to have him run away because I don't have no more Pokeballs and he pop out. I'll be pissed. Also, I'm not a big fan of the whole, what's it called, um, giving nicknames to Pokemon. I like that. I'd rather have it have its real name versus doing the nicknames. But I'm talking too much. I'll show the stream when we do run into a Pikachu, or if we give up in the process. And what do you know, two minutes later, we found a strong Pikachu at that. So let's use Tackle so we, doesn't, we don't kill it by accident. Oh, come on Pikachu, don't, don't go crazy now. We can do one more Tackle because even better, we could probably do three more. The Growl is going to lower the attack. We just need him in the red. I think one more Tackle it should do. Now, if it's an epic fail, y'all gonna see this in real time, and I'm gonna be pissed. Don't crit. Oh, man, I thought that jump was gonna keep going. Alright, so we got two Pokeballs. Tap B, tap B, tap B, tap B. Ah, we got a Pikachu. And, you know, in the anime, well, the TV show, Pikachu didn't want to be right true, but I don't think... This little mouse has have a choice. We're gonna turn him to right true as soon as we can.
so we made it back to um, the Poke Center to heal up our Pokemon, and I've decided to keep Caterpie instead of Metapod because Caterpie knows tackle, and if um, Caterpie can tackle like one of the Kakunas or the other Metapods that the trainer has while they're using the Harden, then we can use that for, to get XP. So I take that as a win. I think that would be better. It'd be a faster level up in that case because we don't need to switch him out. He'll need to share the XP. He could just get it all by himself. But yeah. So that's what we're doing. Our first trainer. Let's see how we fare with this one. And since we have Char Charmander in the forest, then this should be a easy um, battle. So we're just gonna switch him out. Bring Charmander. I brought in two antidotes because these punk weedles. Which I thought we they didn't have none in blue, but you know I must have been mistaken. <laughs> but um, yeah, as expected. But this give a lot of XP, right? And of course, Caterpie going to evolve. I mean, um, level up because that was I think it needed like 33 to level up. Then we're going to switch him back. Potentially, he can level up again. Matter of fact, I'm going to use uh. Needle Ran to attack this one because Needle Ran is really close to going up uh, to level 9. So we'll just do that now. Yeah, these attacks are not effective. Alright, so one more should be good. And then we we are success on our first uh, wild battle. Not wild, but you know. Not against the rival. Nope, he didn't uh, go up, but he did. But yep, so the first butt catcher down. A few more to go. And this is exactly why I brought extra antidote. Cause I knew these punk freaking ha. Uh, but it's all good. At least Caterpie's level five now. And this is what I meant when I said that Caterpie can attack him them himself or herself. You know, you don't want to assume the genders. But all they know is Harden. So, of course, this is going to take a while. But, he get to keep all the XP to himself. So, instead of receiving what, 30? He will get the whole 60, 70 XP. Which would potentially let him level up. But, we're going to fast forward this. Because I know y'all don't want to watch the game, grind game. And, unfortunately, I have no choice but to A, 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 A it out.
after so many attacks with, we'll end up getting 100 XP, and of course, Cappy will go up a level. But then we got another Weedle, so we're just gonna keep him in, and then switch him out. And since freaking Charmander is already poisoned, we might as well just let him just get extra poison, I guess. But we ain't worried about that. We bad seafood all the time. We used to getting poison, you know what I mean? So, but this is um a good a good um trainer bug catcher. I'm surprised he didn't go up another level. But you know, I guess 140 uh, XP is not enough for a little Charm Caterpie. Yeah, I I almost forgot the um I think it's a Pokeball or something up here. Forgot to grab that from the corner. And we run into him and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna grind him out and get all the XP for ourselves. Cause we need all the XP we can get. And he do not have time to be missing no damn attacks. Imagine the final PP, and if he would um said that he had no more attacks, and I had to use another monster. I I meant no monster, another Pokemon. I've been pissed, but we, we get the first evolution and one level grinding. We able to attack with Caterpie, and we still got the same monster, so we good. Now we can just grind him up too. But yeah. Now we can't use them no more. I ain't got no PP ups or nothing like that, whatever they call it. So should we go back to um the beginning or should we just keep going? I think we should go back. So it's too bad I use a freaking antidote on Charmander because it was poison, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. But you live. You live to fight another day.
All right, so we're back where we start our uh, last hit. Uh, <sighs> so we're back where we battle our last trainer, our bug catcher, to be exact. And um, yeah, I'm checking around here. I don't remember where everything is at, but yep, we're going to exit the forest in a little bit. We're gonna get all these trainers up, and we're gonna continue to grind up this metapod. Uh, shot. Nah, we're not gonna waste our PP on this little caterpie. But yeah. Now, normally I would let him uh, battle him, but I don't think this would be a, a good battle, especially if you get poisoned. So we're just going to let Charmino deal with it. And he got poisoned again? Come on, dude. <laughs> you are prone to getting poisoned? Oh, it only took one fuck freaking shot. Oh uh, man, Charmander, you need some thicker skin or something. Get some tums. And we're back at the Poké Center because Charmander can't stomach no freaking seafood. And he keep getting sick, getting poisoned. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I don't know if I said it before, but I'm about to grind up these Pokemon. I'm going to hopefully make Metapod involve. Um, yeah, level 3 or something too. So we can take this badge and then go to the cave. I'll be back.
finally. Man, is this thing, this metapod is so hard to freaking level up. But now we've got a Butterfur, so now the other Pokemon should be a lot easier to um, level up since they, they one-shot basically everything that's in this grass area. But we shall see. See, this one was a lot easier to level up, already level 10. That um, Metapod, it takes four shots to, like, KO a freaking Rattatat. Uh, rat I call it Rattatat, but rat, uh, Rattata at level 3. Ridiculous. And I ran into another Pikachu. I thought the um, the spawn rate for Pikachu was really, really low, but apparently not. It didn't take me long. I did this by accident. I'm just going back to the forest to get some higher XP. You know, I was getting 36 at the max, but in the forest I get just seeing 58 or 40. 30, 32 is the lowest, so this is a better grind game. Finally, I was able to get Needle Rain to freaking level 16 and it's finally involving. Oh my god, that junk took about 30 minutes. But we did it. Now all we have is Charmander and then we're going to go to our Brock and take over the gym. Now this should be the last battle I do to um, get Charmeleon. It's my last fire attack. Ember. Let's see. Why on the dot, right? Look, look at the odds of that, right? <gasps> look who's going. He's evolving. About time, shoot. So now I can 
go ahead and go to the um gym and beat up Brock real quick with his fire monsters. Let me go um, heal up my monsters and I'll be right back. Okay, so my monsters are all healed up. Instead of going to straight to the gym, let's just use her to take us to Brock. You're a trainer, right? Yes, I am. Brock is looking for new challenges. Challengers. Right? Follow me. Right away. Thank you. I ain't gonna mess my buttons up. You might just take me there. Why, thank you, ma'am. Valley service. Take on Brock. My whole thing is, where did she go? She jumped the fence? <laughs> she jumped the fence. All right. Let's be a champ then, shall we? First Pokemon. Oh, I need to know this. It's all good though. All right, so should we go against the trainers also? So my whole thing is I always like to save it right before I start a gym. Habit, you know, batteries back then used to fall out or they used to die or something like that. My mom called me and I put my Game Boy down and I forget to turn it off or save it. So I lose battery or I lose my save memory. So this is like a habit of mine. But I don't think we should have a huge problem with these um, trainers. I think it's only one before Brock. Oh, you got, look at Junior Trainer. And I ain't even put freaking, oh, Diglett. Diglett, Diglett, Diglett. Oh, you got, my boy Charmeleon got a fat back. <laughs> you better make your, unbig your back, mug. All right, so let's put Butterfree in front because we didn't even let Butterfree go off like that. Butterfree don't have any. I hate Sanchu because he always um, do sand attack and it make me miss. And it's kind of like ugh. So the battle go longer than it's expected because you want to do sand attack. So let's see. Oh yeah, his defense is pretty high. Can Butterfree kill him before he kill me? Or make me miss a million times. This is gonna take a while. Now Butterfree is being affected. It's a flying type monster. I would think that you can't use sand attack on a flying monster because he's in the air. But clearly in generation one you can. But it's not highly effective, so we good. Alright, he is catching up. After using a bunch of tackles, I mean, using a bunch of sand attacks. Okay, now we need to switch out. You're not like kill my Butterfree. I thought he got confusion. Uh, I choose. And then right now, big head ass. I'm over here, big as hell. Let me just use hard attack. So this should kill him completely. Yeah. Like I expected. <laughs> All right, Junior Trainer, where your where your father at, man? We about to beat him up too. Not interested. Okay, let's just give him a potion because I don't feel like walking all the way back. And we'll put Butterfree up top in the front. So when he when we fight Onyx. He can get that XP for that too, cause oh, where is he at with the wrong button? Where is he at with going up a level? He got a lot left. I think he got Geo Dude too, right? So he could probably nah, he ain't gonna better be Geo Dude. Let's see, my boy got the shirt off. <laughs> oh, that boy got that boy got a a, a brain um, Jerry curl, crazy with it. Hell no, 
He gonna beat Brother Free. Yeah, he gonna beat up Brother Free. Now we gonna do that. Let's use my boy Reno. We can we can possibly poison him so we can um get some extra what you call it damage. Yep, there we go. Get get him poisoned, then it'll be good so we can have two attacks instead of one. If you can ever get poisoned. Big, big head uh Are you really not gonna poison him? How you missing attacks? Yeah, that's a critical hit. And it was like one HP. <laughs> it's all good though. If if um Reno die, why is you missing? He's not using Santa Tech anything. Why is, is this a inaccurate? It's not Santa Tech. Why is he missing? I am so confused. I am really confused. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna use Horn Attack. Wow. Yeah, this is not gonna be one of them. He's missing. I don't get it. Why is he missing? Okay. Well, he's dead. So let's uh, just horn attack. Yeah, which is okay. Well, that's not gonna work. And poison attack. I don't. I don't get how is he missing. Whatever. You need. You. You probably do need to die for real, bro. Cause that was pathetic. And you. <laughs> come on, man. Full. Okay. Whatever. was able to kill him because freaking Reno wasn't gonna do it all right let's just get Butterfree back out here we have a small monster just in case he um get the best of chameleon we we'll just use them to heal him up this will at least get him another attack Oh no. Can he leave if you put him in a bind? I don't know. Since he only goes in tackle, we should, we are good then. No re no reason to uh, strategize on this one. This is an open and shut case. I think you start learning moves at level 12, yeah. I don't know, Butterfree might have been a bad idea. Got the Boulder Badge. That's an official Pokemon League Badge. It bears Pokemon becoming more powerful. Protecting Flash can be now be used at any time. Give me my 1300 and take this. TM 34, whatever that is. It's a Pokemon. It's only good once, so when you use it, you want to teach a new technique, pick up the Pokemon, pick the Pokemon carefully. You don't use TMs once, fine. I am not interested in using that on any of my Pokemon. All right, let's heal my Pokemon, then we'll uh, do a closing statement.
All right, so this is where we'll stop for now. We got one badge. And we have three Pokemon and we caught every Pokemon that we've seen thus far. I like this series and I hope you like it too. So let me know what you guys think. Should I continue to post my progression? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, well, this is our good stopping point. So we have one badge and we caught every Pokemon we've seen thus far. And it's, we've been playing for two hours and 46 minutes. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut out all the grind game and it's gonna seem like it's much shorter, but we were grinding for just some time now. So yeah, we got Butterfree at level 11. And I'm starting to regret that I even did this at all, but yeah, we got Butterfree. We'll only tackle. We only got Harden. Nenorino. And we got level 16. Charmeleon, which is the star with the big back. Level 16 going on 17. And we also have Pikachu also, but we haven't been grinding Pikachu yet because we don't need it. But we more likely will use him for Misty. Because Misty is a water, uh, water gem also next. And we know Charmin, uh, Chameleon King where we do nothing with that star me. That star you. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think. And we should be continuing the series. If I get good feedback. Hopefully I get any feedback. If not, I might do it just off the love of Pokemon and the nostalgic factor. But... Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. What what I should add, what should I take out. And we'll continue to grind. Peace.